Okay, we've talked about addresses. So you, by now, hopefully have set up a MetaMask a wallet and you've got an address. So we need to understand where that address is actually coming from and, uh, and that's what we're about to do. Okay, so um, public address is basically derived from your private uh, key. Okay, so uh, you've got a private key that's a random number it goes through an elliptic curve uh, algorithm and you derive a public key and the public key is basically manipulated to come up with the um, with the public address okay so uh, again the public key can be public that's why it's called public the address uh, is public also and the idea is with that public address that is useful because somebody might need to send you something so they use that to send stuff to you. But, uh, but again, it is, at least with today's technology, not computationally feasible to go from the public key to uh, the private key. So, um, so the way uh, this works, um, again, both Bitcoin and Ethereum use uh, elliptic curve digital signature algorithms, a particular type. There's many different type of them. Um, and, uh, and this is, you know, part of the details. And, and basically the steps are the first thing is you generate a, a, a private key. And the private key is 256 uh, bits, which we've uh, talked about. Um, it is represented uh, as 64 hexadecimal characters, or it could be 32 bytes. So we're going to use the elliptic curve uh, digital signature algorithm to derive the public key, which is actually 512 uh, bits. And the private plus the public is called the key pair. Okay, so um, we, in a digital signature algorithm, are going to be able to sign uh, transactions using our private key. And when we actually produce that signature, anybody looking at the signature and knowing our public address knows for sure that the person signing actually owns the private key or is in possession of the private key. Okay, so uh, in, in both Bitcoin and Ethereum, the addresses are linked to uh, the public uh, key. So Ethereum is, is very easy um, to get the public uh, address. So this is the way it happens. Again, uh, you generate a random number. That's going to be your private key. You pass it through the uh, elliptic curve algorithm. You get 512 bits, which is 128 uh, hexadecimal characters. And then you're going to hash that with the KCOC 256. Okay, so when you do that hash, you get uh, something that's 256 bits or 64 hexadecimal characters. And what you're going to do is to take the last 40 hexadecimal characters. Okay, so there's there are 64 hexadecimal characters but we're going to take the last 40. So we're going to ignore the first part. And then all we do is append that with a 0x. So in Ethereum, uh, the addresses are all appended with a 0x. So it's very straightforward. And the actual formula you can see uh, for actually doing this uh, is below. Um, and uh, a very simple to go from the public key to the private. And uh, this is my uh, MetaMask account. And you can actually see uh, my um, MetaMask uh, public address ends with uh, CCE. Uh, and indeed, um, you could use that address to send me um, some coin, uh, a tip maybe. You, you can easily do that. So it is available, uh, and that is uh, definitely uh, my uh, public uh, address and my 
MetaMask uh, account. Um, so this is just kind of showing uh, the mechanics of how we go through a particular example uh, where I generate a private key, a public key, um, then do the hash, and then take the 40 uh, last hexadecimal characters and append with the 0x. So just putting like a real, uh, real hexadecimal notation uh, for Ethereum. Bitcoin is, is more convoluted, but it's still uh, fairly uh, straightforward to do. This isn't a Bitcoin course, but given Bitcoin's so important, I will kind of go through the same steps as an example. So you generate a random number, which is going to be our private uh, key, and then we pass it through the elliptic curve uh, routine, and we get a public key. And notice it's much longer, and that's why the font is much smaller, 512 characters. And then we're going to perform a SHA-256 on the public key. So all of this is identical to what we were doing with Ethereum, except Ethereum was using a different hashing algorithm. Ethereum uses the KCAC-256. We're going to use the SHA-256 in uh, Bitcoin. But then it gets a little more um, difficult. So what we're going to do is we're going to use another hashing algorithm which is a ripe MD, and MD stands for message digest or hash, 160 on that previous step, the SHA-256. So the ripe uh, MD, 160, is actually 160 bits, not 256, so it's shorter than the 256. And then in step five, we're going to add the version number in front of that ripe MD, uh, 160. And then we're going to do another hash. We're going to do a SHA-256 on the extended ripe uh, MD-160. So, so again, we've got the public key. We do the 256 um, SHA. We do the ripe MD-160, which is a shorter uh, uh, hash. We put the version number in front and then do a 256 and, uh, and, and, and basically in, in doing this, we end up with 256 characters in step number six. Um, then we do another SHA-256 in step seven. So again, we're still at 64 hexadecimal uh, characters. In step eight, we're going to take the first four bytes of the second SHA-256, and that's going to be our, our checksum um, in terms of maybe um, if somebody types uh, this in, uh, you know, like incorrectly. Um, so we're going to basically add the four checksum bytes to the extended ripe MD-160 in stage five. Okay, so do that, and then convert the whole thing to base 58. So base 58 is the upper and lowercase letters. Okay, so that, if you add 26 and 26, the numbers, 0 through 9. But then we're going to exclude some ambiguous sort of uh, characters, and we get to um, base 58. And that's what a Bitcoin address actually looks like. So it's basically just a bunch of hashing. Ethereum, much more straightforward, where you've got the public key, you do the KCOC 256, take the last 40 hexadecimal characters, apply the 0x, you're done. Bitcoin's got many uh, steps to it, but again, it's very mechanical, very fast uh, to actually do.